Hi team, welcome to this video. Here we're going to be talking about billable versus internal time. Now this is an area that's commonly misunderstood because we have two sorts of timesheet entries we can do. We can do a billable timesheet entry and we can do a non-billable timesheet entry and the confusion arises around these non-billable timesheet entries. This confusion is around if we have a fixed price job, so if we have a fixed price agreement Sometimes people consider that as non-billable time. We're not going to bill the time on this job because we have a fixed fee and they'll therefore flag that as a non-billable uh, timesheet entry. This is incorrect because although we are billing the time based on the quote, the time that we're putting to the job is in fact billable. So you want to think about any time that you do for clients that is of billable nature. Whether you invoice the timesheets or not is a completely different conversation, but the time you put to clients is billable. Then you have non-billable time, which is our internal time. That's anything that we put to uh, in our internal time code. So that could be things like internal team meetings or maybe uh, training or anything like that. Any work that is not billable to the client is non-billable time. So I just wanted to point out the difference between the two. Uh, we, we don't want to be flagging any time that we put to our clients as non-billable time because otherwise we're going to run into an issue around productivity and also our billable values or billable whip that we have on our jobs. So I'm just going to quickly jump into XPM now and show you where uh, that billable, non-billable checkbox is entered uh, and just we want to make sure that that is uh, not turned on for any of our staff, the ability to update that at a timesheet level. So let's jump in and we'll check it out. Right, so here I am in my demo company in XPM. I'm just going to come down to jobs in here and let's just click into one of these jobs. Let's say this one. And if I scroll down and enter a task, you'll see that when I create a task on this job, let's say annual accounts, I've got the ability to flag it as a billable or a non-billable task. So that is a billable task, right? And if I hit save, just like that, all of my timesheet entries that I do will be flagged as a billable timesheet entry. So if I put some time here, let's just go oh, choose my name put one hour in here, you'll see that it's got that little billable box checked so it knows it's a billable timesheet entry. Now what I don't want to do, this is what we don't want to do, is create a task, let's say it is uh, I know company setup, and I flag it as non-billable, this means that the time I'm putting to this job, or to this task here is now non-billable, right? So if I choose my name there, and then I go company setup, that box is automatically going to be unchecked. So this billable box here is something that can be turned on or off uh, at a user permission level. So you don't want to be having this box checked. You don't want to have this box available for everyone. That's really important because we don't want uh, everyone deciding whether their time is billable or non-billable. This should be set at a, at a task level. So when the tasks are set up, really important that we make sure that if they are for a client, they are flagged as billable, just like this. If I hit edit, it's got the billable box checked. But when we have all of our internal time codes, they're going to be flagged as uh, with the billable box unchecked, which means that the timesheet entries that we put to our internal time will be non-billable, therefore non-productive time. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.